the events uh, surrounding the week of July 20th, 1976 were uh, incredibly exciting. Um, when the lander landed, uh, it was almost uh, powered up, and the team had um, programmed in uh, two photographs to be taken uh, so that they could be delivered fairly quickly uh, back to Earth for the press to see and for NASA to uh, be able to confirm that the landers had in fact landed on Mars. The image that you see at the top um, was the first image to come through. Um, smaller focused, uh, directly making sure that the pad had in fact uh, touched the ground, that the ground was solid, um, that it looked like the lander was upright. Um, this was shown, the, the, the camera technology was a facsimile uh, camera. Uh, for those of you not familiar with uh, fax machines, it basically scanned from left to right and uh, strips of the photograph uh, would appear. The landing uh, imager lead, uh, Tom Much, was sitting with the NASA TV um, director, basically describing the image as it came through. Um, and this was about 5 o'clock in the morning, about a half hour after the lander had actually landed. Um, and it was a, a stunning and thrilling experience, I'm sure, for everybody in the room. Um, a couple hours later, the second image uh, appeared, black and white as well, higher resolution, um, showing the panorama, the landscape. Um, again, very exciting uh, from the perspective of, of uh, the geologist on the team and the imaging team uh, to able to describe what Mars might actually um, be like and the prospects of whether or not the uh, mission would uh, find biological life.